Welcome to an update on the AI Counter Map. This time we're adding new capabilities with AL Code Generation. Hey, I'm Eric. And um, this is the third video in the series on, uh, on the new upcoming AI Counter Map. This time we are adding new capabilities to, uh, to the app. If you watched the first two episodes, I suggest you do. Uh, you know that, that the app can already create yield entries and purchase documents and sales documents. But what if we wanted to do something that's outside those three areas? Well, now we have the option for it. So now I have added the capability for, for, for AI to you know, start writing a program. So if there's something that it cannot do out of the box, it can write a program and then find the program to do it. Um, this is using some of the capabilities that are that are, comes out of my my toolbox app that enables you to write code inside Business Central. Um, but let me show you how it works. It's probably easier than trying to explain this. So here's the app, and um, I'll start by going in and taking a look at the AIs. So compared to the last video, uh, this list has grown. There are now three new uh, AIs in here. The, the first one I want to mention is Bondi. Bondi is an AL runner AI. So throw some code at, at Bondi and Bondi will run the code. Super simple. Uh, Bondi is typically commandeered by uh, uh, Elaine, um, which is very clever with AL and AI in the name. Um, and Elaine has instruction on you know, what to do. How to write a program and uh, and so on. Um, then we have Scrummy as the the third part of this uh, this trio, um, and Scrummy is is like the uh, the the old Google that takes a look at the code and and figures out whether it's it's good or bad. And uh, I think consent is actually spelled that way, maybe. Um, so those are the new uh, new AIs. Um, then I have added in here. I have added two new uh, workloads just to test this. One is simple, called AI AL test, saying follow the instructions and solve the problem by creating an AL program. And the other one down here is transfer order. This one is so the idea is to create a transfer order uh, between uh, locations. Um, and here we have given the AIs, here's an example of how to do this. Um, so there's a, a simple piece of code that will insert a, uh, a header and a line. So let's try it out. I go to workloads and I create a new workload. Uh, let's try the AL one first. Go down and say, uh, Let's have a create a payment term. Create a new payment term code for nine days. That's a task. We hit debug run to see what's happening. I click next to start this. And compared to the last video, by the way, this has changed look because it was not looking very pretty and uh, now it looks different uh, I'll leave it up to you whether it's pretty or not so Elaine first I need to know the table and fields for payment terms so we're asking Kenzie uh, payment terms well here's a table there's actually two tables there is one could just got payment terms and the one called CRM payment terms we click next now I need to know the fields in table three so Clearly, he selected uh, payment terms and not the CRM payment terms. So asking Kenzie for what what fields do we have in this table? Kenzie says, well, there's all these fields. So we're back waiting for Elaine. So now we'll prepare the AL program to insert a new payment term code for nine days. Here's the draft AL code. Sometimes it formats code nicely. Sometimes it doesn't. Uh, we don't really care um, but now we're gonna ask uh, Scrummy uh, to see if this is good or bad code 
So next step is Scrummy. Scrummy takes a look. So let's review your AL code for creating new payment terms code for nine days. This was the code given. Looks pretty good from here. Analysis, visualization is correct. Field validation is correct. Uh, potential issues. Duplicate key. If a payment terms code says nine day, code nine days already exist, this will draw an error. You should check for existence before inserting. Missing permissions. Make sure that a user on this code has permission to insert into payment terms. Uh, that's a fair amount. No error handling. There's no error handling in case of failure. And then Scrummy suggests an improved version saying that if not get payment terms, uh, if not payment terms, not get nine days. So if, if it doesn't exist, then we'll create it. Otherwise, we'll throw a nice error saying that it's already there. Your code will work as intended if you're sure nine days does not already exist for production. Of repeatability scripts, use the improved version above to avoid duplicate key errors. You have my consent to execute. So we go next step. And now we're asking Bondi, hey, run this. Bondi runs this program, execute is successful. And waiting from Elaine. A new payment terms, nine days with due date calculation of nine days has been created successfully in Business Central. The task completed. Let's go to payment terms. And that's correct. We have a new payment term. Okay, so that was pretty nice. Let's uh, try the other one, the transfer order. So I go in and I say I want to do a transfer order. Um, and let's go with transfer uh, nine. Let's use nine again. Paris, what is it? It's called guest chair. Uh, shares and f how many need nine? So three tables. So three person per table. Three tables from west location to main location. Uh, make it a direct transfer. So we'll do this. We'll save this. And we do the same thing and let's try it out. Now I'm stepping through this. You can just click process and then everything happens in one go. But but uh, we're stepping to uh, kind of keep an eye on uh, what is happening. And th this is what you will do too when you're you're saying, okay, I need I need I have a certain task I need to describe it. So you need to test your your prompts and figure out how. Uh, they do the job right. Uh, I'll go next step. So we start this. First, I need to get the correct item numbers for Paris guest chairs and table. Uh, so uh, we ask, we are asking Kenzie. Kenzie says there's no such thing as Paris guest chairs, and there's no thing like tables. Um, so let's see what's happening. Looks like there are no matching uh, for this. Let's me try searching for Paris and chair separately and also for table. So it's clever saying, ah, hang on, Let, let's be more generic. So, uh, and we can see that now we're actually asking Kenzie three different things. We can look at the AI, AI stack here and see that currently there are three questions outstanding. Um, so, we can see that Kenzie answers all three now with the uh, with information. So uh, we go next. So we got the chair, we got the table. Okay, so great. Here are the relevant item numbers. We got the the chair, the table. Now I'll customize the program to transfer nine chairs and three tables from location west to main. Make a direct uh, transfer. Here's the customized program. So we declare to variables. We insert the transfer header from west to main, posting date today. Um, we add a line for the parish guest chair. We insert the primary key correctly. Validate item number, quantity, shipment, and receipt dates. We modify that. 
do the same for line two, set the line number to 20,000, and then we message out that transfer order something is created. So let's ask uh, Scrummy. I think was the, the one we are waiting now. Your code is well structured and correctly implements the requirements. Transfer do, 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 direct true, lines, this, this, dates all set to today, uh, probably increment the line numbers. Um, we're using validate uh, in it, insert true, which is correct, the docker number is set for each line, link them to the header. The code is correct and safe to execute for the described transfer. It will create a direct transfer order from west to main of nine parish guest chairs and three Antwerp conference tables. Tip, if you need to confirm item numbers, always check with Kenzie as you mentioned. The item numbers used here uh, are standard demo data, but should be verified for your environment. How oh, nice. So we go next step, loop back to Alain saying, this is correct. So now we're asking Bondi to run this code. We click on transfer order 1013 is created. Let's uh, just quickly check here. Transfer orders 1013 from west to main, uh, nine chairs and three tables. Boom, that's correct. Go back. And the air program successfully created the transfer order. We'll do, do, the task is completed. So with that, we uh, have had the, the AI accountant do two new things that it was not pre-programmed to access. So the, right now it's pre-programmed to access the general journal and handle that uh, and create sales documents and purchase documents. Um, but we, we can ask it to do a lot of other things. Uh, as soon as it's a bit complex, like the transfer order, um, what I found so far is that the best idea to give a, a sort of example uh, piece of code saying, hey, this is, this is how you can do it. And then it will fill out the fields that needs and, and so on uh, if needed. Um, so if you wanna try out the beta, uh, there is information on the, I think it's the first video, uh, and I suggest you go back and see them before because this is just about the new functionality, not all the other things that it can do. Um, yeah, and but also let me know in comments below if there's something you think this should do or this is mad or something. Yeah, say something nice. See you later.